How you doing, everyone? This is Ace Man Armageddon, and we're right here at Galloping All Star Cade for Shang Tsung's Five Nine Number Five. And with me this evening is the lovely Caitlin Zamiar. Doing very good. How about yourself? Good. And of course, in Mortal Kombat Two, she was Katana, Molina, and Jay. That's right. So um, I wanted to ask you a few questions uh, and a special random selected question along the line. Um, but um, just to start out, um, I'm a big time Mortal Kombat 2 fan. And uh, one of the first characters that I started playing out was Molina. And then later on with Katana, but Jane was a little bit rough to beat. But, you know, eventually through the years, I actually got to master it. And uh, it was pretty fun. And I, I still can't get enough of part two. So, um, so my question uh, to you is, um, how is it that you got involved into the industry before, uh, well, pretty much how is it that you got into the industry before anything else? I was already a, already a martial artist. I was originally a Taekwondo and karate stylist and kickboxing. I met Danny Fasina at a health club where we all happened to train and be members at coincidentally and then he saw me training asked if I had done other stuff and I had done modeling before so it was kind of an easy mix and he asked if I could do some things I was like yeah no problem and I met John and John and we all got along and it was that easy okay so um so how long have you involved uh, with modeling and martial arts I have been in the martial arts for maybe 33 years now uh, my school has been open for 14, and then I've been a writer and martial arts lecturer for about 20 years. Okay, um, so can you tell us a little bit about your experience already getting into the industry and knowing, you know, what Mortal Kombat's all about before even two was just a, you know, a way of no pondo of even becoming a hit, which surpassed part two? I had no concept of what Mortal Kombat was before I did Mortal Kombat 2. And even while doing Mortal Kombat 2, I didn't really understand the gratitude of its impact on the gaming world. I learned, I understood once I started doing it, but I wasn't a gamer. So I had just gotten out of college, so I wasn't familiar with it. I actually found out and learned more about the game because my brothers were huge fans. Okay. Others. Oh, okay. So uh, now after like so many years later, how does it feel to be part of a successful hit like Mortal Kombat 2 besides all the other Mortal Kombat chapters in existence? I hate to say it. I only remember it now every decade. 10 year anniversary. I'm like, oh my God, 10 years, 20 anniversary now. Oh my God. I can't believe how long it's been. So it's more the context of the decades kind of marks uh, I guess a nostalgic, you know, experience. Yeah. Cause like, you know, it's been a long time for me. And like I said, part two has always been to me an addiction, never stopped playing it. And even after like years later, it's like, I still reminisce of the very first time that I played it. It's like, I can't believe it's been this long. It was so clear at the time, you know? Yeah, it was. I mean, the, the upper advancement, you know, to the graphics and everything. I mean, it just absolutely parlayed on everything. So it was like... Yeah, video bomb. Photo bomb. At the perfect time. Okay, so hey, they want to interview you too. Oh, great. All right. Let's do it. So, um, yeah, I'm here, you know, just being brought in with two lovely ladies. I can't get no better than that. Um, are you on your way? I'm on my way. To the top. To the top. To the very Top. How does it feel to be a part of this experience? Oh, it's amazing. Um, I'm really grateful to all the fans and how long that they've kept Mortal Kombat alive and what a great experience to have people come out. I actually met somebody who had a tattoo of Serena on his thigh on his leg today. That was pretty, pretty cool. So we're really grateful to the fans. Well, that's great. By the, by the way, folks, this is Leah Montelongo who played Sindel for Mortal Kombat 3 and also did Serena. That's what for Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. That is awesome. So, um, you know, I would definitely like, you know, to interview you more if possible. So, um, well, let's just end this, of course, with Caitlin Zemiar. And, of course, you can... Okay. Well, then, 
Okay, very well, I'm out. <laughs> Okay, Caitlin, so now to end this interview, which was really unexpected, but still a lot of fun. I mean, my personal treat is getting to meet you because you're very welcome. Because out of all of this experience, you know, I've always wanted to meet the part two people first. Not to say that one or the three cats wasn't special, but part two really paved the way and, and is an all-time favorite for all of these fans here in existence. I'm I'm pretty sure that's got to make you happy and, you know, satisfied with your work. Yes, I think that um, there were, I mean, it was a pretty full cast of martial artists. Uh, we all trained together, so that was kind of special. Uh, for years, we all trained martial arts together. So I, I think that's kind of something unique about Mortal Kombat 2. Okay. Um, let's go to the uh, random selected question. Um, out of all three characters that you have played, which one that you had most fun playing as or doing moves for? Probably Katana, because the fan was just such an awesome prop to use, and it was a favorite weapon of mine. Size was a weapon that I thought was an awesome presentation uh it was my competition weapon so the size in the game were my actual size my real size whereas the fan was much larger than a real competition fan it was very pretty the character was supposed to be a little bit more uh, graceful and i really liked that that they wanted one character that was a little bit more graceful, and then the size kind of represented something a little bit more sinister and evil. So I liked the, uh, the fan. Kitana. Well, I couldn't agree more because, like I said, I started playing with Molina, but then Kitana was a character kind of difficult to uh, master, but still over the years got to master pretty well. You know, there's others that actually play more better than me, but it's fun seeing how they get creative just by playing your character over the years. You know, the Katana character actually had real moves. So that's kind of cool. Like Johnny Cage had a lot of real moves in it. Um, you know, I think for all us characters that were at the time straight up full-time martial artists, being able to take movements that either we did every day or that were part of our favorite forms or part of an animal form system that we loved and make it part of a character, that was cool. I mean, it's all, oh, it's always cool to, like, duck, but, I mean, it's much cooler to do a cat stance or some sort of crane pose or something like that. I thought that was more fun. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, so now uh, let's fast forward. So what is it that you focus now after the successful sequel of Mortal Kombat 2? What, what is the life of Caitlyn Zamiar right now? Okay. I have kids, lots of little kids. Here's a couple of them. They're beautiful. I have um, a business in the West Loop, and uh, it's been open for 14 years. I've had a really, excuse me, I've had a really prolific career in martial arts and fitness. Um, I have my first book in Barnes & Noble. I have my second book on uh, an e-book. I mean, I just, I've been running my business, writing, presenting, teaching. So it's been good. Lots of videos out. That's pretty good. Um, if there's one thing that you can say to your fans right now, what would that be after all these years? I'll talk to you at the 30-year anniversary. How's that? Yeah, I like that a lot. I really like that a lot. Uh, so for your fans, um, do you have any uh, social pages that they can follow you on? Sure. Um, POW. Mixed Martial Arts, and then my handle is Catalin Pow, K-A-T-A-L-I-N-P-O-W. Okay. Well, I thank you very much, Caitlin, for your time. It is a pleasure meeting you for this event. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Caitlin Zamiar, who played uh, Kitana, Molina, and Jade for Mortal Kombat 2. Y'all have a good evening. Peace and love, America.